already know this, but Facebook is a super powerful tool, right? Facebook has more data on you guys. What, dude? <laughs> that was the thing of the shoe fell or something. One of your shoes. That shit scared me, I'm not gonna lie. So should you get started with Facebook ads or Instagram shoutouts with Shopify drop shipping? For those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Juan Valdez, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the VFAM. The VFAM is a community and a movement of people that are aspiring to do a lot more than what society has out for us to do. So when we first got started, what are you, my we is me, my business partner, Samir. And when we first got started e-commerce and drop shipping, we actually got started with Facebook ads uh, for our marketing, you know, our marketing method. I'm not biased compared to, you know, whether you should only do Facebook ads or only do Instagram shout outs. I actually think you guys should do both. They're both great opportunities, but I I do think that there are you know somewhat of perks of doing one compared to the other and just some things that you should know you know when you're first getting started when I first got started in e-commerce and drop shipping me and my business partner Samir we actually got started with Facebook ads right that's how we mainly drove traffic to our stores and our websites I'm not biased when it comes to you know whether you guys should start with you know specifically Facebook ads and only do Facebook ads or Instagram shout outs and only do Instagram shout outs I believe that you guys should take advantage of both because they're both great marketing opportunities so when it comes to Facebook ads a lot of you guys may or may not know but it is a super powerful tool Facebook actually has more data about you and I than we both have you know they know you know our daily habits and the things we like they know the things that we do they even know as much as how much we spend on our credit cards it's crazy all this data they actually accumulated because they buy data from a lot of different companies and that's why there's such you know such a powerful resource and why they're one of the biggest companies in the world the only thing is obviously when you have such a powerful tool usually when you have any really good resource that's like obviously excellent and really useful to your business usually it's not as easy to learn right it's not something that you could just go and a few hours you got it down and boom you're ready to try it out it's something that it is a little bit harder to learn compared to like Instagram influencer shout outs but it's a skill that if you do learn it it's a very valuable skill set it's a skill set that not only you can apply into your business but you can also then apply it to any other businesses that you're planning on you know running as well because at some point in time those businesses are going to need to get more clients more customers and more traffic so how are you going to do that well one of the ways that you can actually do it nowadays is with facebook ads because it's you know it's one of the best ways to actually advertise there's a lot more being spent you know with facebook advertising than there is in a lot of other places you know once you start running your advertising let's say if your budget you start off with a hundred dollars a day and fun fact I'm actually not a Facebook ad as expert I'm actually simply just you know repeating the information that I actually learned from him uh, if you guys want to learn a lot more about Facebook ads Facebook training you can actually check out my business partner Samir's channel this is actually his channel here but his channel you can actually learn a lot more about Facebook ads he actually learned from Steven uh, Steven is actually an absolute savage this guy was doing about a million dollars a month with affiliate marketing and a lot of his traffic or almost all his traffic was from Facebook ads so he taught a lot of Samir of what he knows and the reason why we got started with Facebook ads is honestly because Samir already had some experience with it and he had already you know obviously he had some mentorship for sure one of the other reasons why we chose it is because it's very scalable right super scalable what I mean by that again is we know for a fact that if we're our budget's a hundred dollars and we're making double or triple on our money we know for a fact that we can just simply increase our budget to now two hundred dollars a day for a budget and we can expect to make three or four hundred you know on the uh, return on that same investment and that's what we like about you know Facebook ads because we can basically control it as to every single time that we're you know investing let's say a hundred or two hundred dollars into our daily budget we can pretty much expect the outcome based on you know different things different metrics but once you figure out that you know that campaign is profitable and it makes sense all you have to do is rather than just spending one or two hundred dollars you can now scale up gradually There's now when it comes down to Instagram influencers first of all Instagram and their platform has about 800 million daily users I actually got that from an article from Business Insider obviously any platform that has 800 million daily users that has getting that much attention has to be you know obviously utilized so you guys want to make sure you're taking advantage of all the traffic they're already getting now one of the, my favorite parts about Instagram influencers is that you can get started with a much cheaper budget than Facebook ads let's say you know we've gotten Instagram shout outs for as cheap as $25 and I've seen people get even free Instagram shout outs so you can usually there's a way you can actually finesse and work your way around where you can actually get free shout outs and obviously if you can't get them for free you can definitely define your budget but definitely get shout outs for a really cheap price so that's one of the best parts I like about Instagram shout outs that you can use that and take advantage of you know getting shout outs for a cheaper budget the reason why that's important to you know start off your Instagram shout outs or start, or start testing your products in your store with cheaper budgets is because you want to be able to test your products 
spending the least amount as possible, right? So I'm a huge fan of building backend systems. If you guys didn't already watch my video on building effective strategy for your Shopify dropshipping business for 2018, make sure you check out that video. I talk about you know the backend strategy, how to build a backend system into your Shopify business so that you're you know you're able to get repeat customers and how you can really maximize in the long time value of each customer right we're gonna do facebook ads if we're gonna do instagram we start off all our facebook ads you know when i'm asking samir you know when he's about to launch like what's the budget looking like what are the metrics you know he says we always start off with five to ten dollar budgets max and the reason why is because we want to be able to get data and traction on the product so without spending as much as possible because there's no sense no need to you know spend a hundred dollars a day where you can get you know similar data for five dollars a day so you can spend less get better data you can find out if the product is getting traction or the kind of response is getting from you know from the marketplace and things like that for those of you guys that don't know what instagram shout outs is basically when you have these pages they're usually based specifically around like traveling so usually these pages have a huge influence on you know their followers that they have because obviously when people come to these pages and they follow these pages specifically travel pages they're going there for a reason obviously they want they like the page what it has to offer and things like that so usually those are called influencer instagram accounts now basically the way that it works is you guys have probably already seen it you'll have them post usually an instagram shout out like somebody would reach out to them they'll uh, set up a deal within a product they'll set up an ad with like you know ad copy in it and then they would post that product on their you know instagram page obviously because they have a huge following for their followers to see and usually if the product makes sense and it's congruent then it results in obviously you know whoever the supplier is or the seller to obviously making sales so same thing with you guys you'd find a huge page whatever niche you're in a huge page in that niche you you know obviously you'd, you'd message them find out what kind of offers you can you can make them what kind of deal you can get and then from there you they put the post up and obviously from there depending on how many people see it time of the day the engagement the, there's a lot of different factors i can actually make a complete video just on the factors that you should use to find instagram influencers but basically they put the pay they put the post up and then obviously your obviously your goal is to make sales from it so obviously the goal again the reason why i'm a huge fan is because you can start off with a much cheaper budget again you want to be able to you want to test for as little as possible you want to get data and find out if it's a good product without spending as much that way you can allocate your budget to obviously the good products and you can scale those up one of the biggest factors with than Facebook marketing is actually this Facebook pixel. And the way I understand Facebook pixel is that it's like a little cookie that you put in people's pockets whenever they come to your website and that you can then use to follow them all over the internet. So the reason why this is huge is because obviously your Facebook pixel is a huge asset you're gonna have. But Instagram influencer shout outs are a great way to get started because basically you're gonna make, after you, you're able to get this shout out going, you're gonna have people come into your website. Either you know they're gonna buy or they're not, but the fact that they're coming to your website that cookie is then gonna be on their page and now you're gonna be able to retarget them. And basically, the more data you feed your Facebook pixel, the more, you know, the more advanced it gets. I wanted to just include one website you guys can actually, just a fun tip I wanted to leave you guys with, one website you can actually use to find inf Instagram influencers for your page is Shoutcart. I've actually used it before and it's a great resource that'll help you narrow down the different influencers there is, the ones for any kind of any niche or any passion, things like that. It'll actually save you the time and efforts of having to search them you know, on your own time on Instagram and things like that. They pretty much put it together. So uh, again, for you guys, I wanted to kind of just make this video to kind of just go over the, you know, between in Facebook ads and Instagram shoutouts. Now, the other thing is with Instagram shoutouts, the only thing that I, um, I'm not a huge fan of is the fact that how scalable it is, right? So obviously these different influencers only have a certain amount of reach. You know, there's a lot of different factors that goes into it, but if you pay $25 for an Instagram shout out and you make a hundred, the only thing I about like about Instagram shout outs is that it's not always the same. So you can't guarantee that if you put in another hundred, you're going to make an, or another $25, you're going to make another hundred, right? That's not how it usually is because these pages do have optimal amount of reach because they do have, you know, a uh, certain amount of followers, and a certain amount of reach like i said so that's the only thing i don't like as much about instagram influencers i mean i personally still use them so i'd recommend you guys to as well because it's still another good opportunity right now actually you can actually take advantage and get a lot of instagram shout outs for really cheap because right now influencers are still learning about the value that they have over their audience right so right now is a good time to take advantage of it now just because it isn't scalable doesn't mean it's not a, a good opportunity so i would definitely take advantage of it you know, take advantage of the pricing that you can get because in the future, you know, Instagram influencer shout outs or influencer shout outs overall are gonna get a lot more expensive and you probably won't be able to get as much of a return. If you got any value from this video, make sure you hit me, you leave me with a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know if you'd like to see any more Instagram shout out videos, Facebook ad videos. For the Facebook ad videos, make sure you go to my business partner, Samir Chibane, his um, YouTube, YouTube channel. He has great content on Facebook ads. He's actually gonna be the one that's gonna be able to show you guys, you know, how to, 
take your Facebook ads campaigns to the next level. So make sure you check out his page. And also, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the VFAM, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.